Who is this blind officer? Judging from his appearance, I bet he obviously is on the revolt. He's a sergeant from the Civil War, Comrade Duke. The battle was at a stalemate for quite some time. Trans warfare is slow, Comrade Duncan. The capitalist swine MacDonald, supported by Western tanks and supplies, oppressed the Soviet Red Army with his firepower. Our valiant comrade Macbeth led his men and rushed the trenches, shooting MacDonald in the guts before slicing his head off. My choice in appointing comrade Macbeth as the People's Commissar for Nationality's Affairs was indeed correct. He is the ideal of the Soviet men. However, Macbeth's successes against a heinous traitor created another problem. The Polish army, led by General Pasuski, saw this opportunity and attacked with his cavalry. How did Comrade Macbeth and Banco react to this? They were frightened by Pasuski's advance, but the truth is they fought the Polish cavalry with twice the ferocity. Like a cannon loaded with double ammunition. Comrade Duncan, I do not know what caused this sudden burst in ferocity, but I feel lightheaded and I need tendings. Your wards, like your wounds, bring you honor to the USSR. Take him to the surgeons. The leader of the Socialist Republic of Ukraine, Comrade Ross. Glory to Marxism, to Comrade Duncan, and to the Union. Where have you come from, Comrade Ross? Great leader, I've come from Brakow. Where the, where the Polish flag flies, mocking the Soviet people. The Polish government launched a bloody assault created by the opening made by that traitor. However, comrades Macbeth and Banquo resisted this ambush gallantly, winning this unwinnable battle. Well done, comrade. Please tell comrade Macbeth that he will be made the General Secretary of the USSR hereafter. You may now leave. Communism. He has absolute power and stay in our nation, and his genius is what won us the battle today. Comrade Banquo, his genius has not won us the battle. It is our genius that won the battle. The great Macbeth and Banquo. It's always Duncan that gets credit for what he does. Never us. Absolutely despise the way he does things. His economic policy is increasing communism at a snail's pace. I fear another attack from Western Europe. If we do not strengthen our country fast, we might end up like China right now. Come in. Comrade Macbeth, here's a letter we received from Comrade Banku. Dear Macbeth, what you said today is improper. Do not disrespect our leader. Keep those words to yourself or it's an act of treason. Treason! I do not think that's the best word to use here, Comrade Macbeth. All of your actions and efforts are solely for the interests of the Soviet Union and for Marxism. That's right. I will not report this to the secret police, for I am your friend. I warn you, never say those words again about our great leader Duncan. Best. Mikhail Edmunter Banco. That's nonsense! Damn you, Banco! You may leave. Yes, sir.
shall be rewarded. Conrad Macbeth will become the general secretary of the interior, and Conrad Banco will become the war commissar. <laughs> Not good, despite my promotion. How come? The future of our nation concerns me. Duncan's way of slow industrialization is not the way. Then, what is the way? Rapid reindustrialization and rapid remilitization. My dear, these are dangerous times. Enemies are everywhere. They take their chances to weaken our power. The battle today was won. However, I'm afraid if enemies continue to war against us, we will not be able to resist it. We need to strengthen our country. First, through a five-year plan that transforms our country from an agrarian-based society to an industrialized nation. Then, we need to strengthen our military by mass conscription. We need to board ourselves from other countries and then repeat. That does sound like a good plan, but how are you going to achieve it? If only I had the power. I tried to convince Comrade Banco today, but he completely shut down my advances and just told me to keep it to myself. My dear. If Banco is not willing to support you, I will. Do whatever it is you need to obtain that power, and transform the motherland to your heart's content. I don't think I have the power to do this. I need to kill Duncan, his followers, and many others to achieve my dreams. It is too cruel, my dear, I can't. Listen, do you want that day to come? The day where the mighty Red Army parades in Red Square? The day where people celebrate our successes with industrialization? The day where capitalism dies as the workers of the world unite. Isn't that what you want deep down in your heart? You are the great General Macbeth. You shouldn't be afraid of killing. I've heard about your victory against the Polish forces. You are a man, Macbeth. Think about the fame and praise you will receive at the end of this. It will be worth the cause, my dear. My lowest subject, enemy still lie in the Union. Here's the list. Take them out, please. Yes, sir. Comrades, today is an unfortunate day where a great revolutionary has passed at the hands of a Soviet officer. Enemies exist everywhere in the Union. I, Comrade Macbeth, shall further the great contributions made by the great Duncan. I shall continue his policies and purge the enemies in the Union. Let's make the USSR a great nation, so great it will connect all the oppressed workers of the world. Workers of the world, unite! You have nothing to lose but your chains. Cobain. Okay. 
Here's the list. Bankroll, that was very rude. Please come off next time. Degree Leader McBeth, I'm quite concerned about the deaths of the peasants and the members of the Politburo. I do not like the way you're changing our nation right now. They have killed thousands just to eat the production cultures. Bankroll, the ends justifies the means. The future of the Soviet Union is much more important than the lives of mere peasants. You think you're so righteous, huh, Bankroll? Arrest this fool for the Great Leader McBeth! Get on the front, get on the front! Get him out of my face. Yes, sir. What have you done, my dear? You have become deaf and deserted men. Why did you have to sacrifice millions for our country? What about those that perish just randomly from day to day? It's as you said, it's for the greater good. You guided me here, my dear. You have betrayed the revolution. Is this what it's all about? Arresting peasants and hoarding their yield? Why? Why did this happen? Scum, why? Scum? Did you just call me scum? Get the hell out of here. My actions are solely for the interest of the Soviet Union. Those incompetent peasants are nothing but a waste of resource. I would rather have them in slave labor camps than them hoarding grain. Power is what I want. Arresting the members of the Politburo is absolutely necessary. Any of them can dethrone me from my position as supreme leader. You dumb bitch, you know nothing. I will never betray the revolution. <laughs> the battle in the oh, fuck. the battle has been oh shit. created by an opening caused by that the leader of the socialist republic of Ukraine. <laughs> <All right. laughs>